Hi everybody, welcome back to Human Biology. I'm Brenda Gustin, your instructor. And um, let's see, I'm making this video Friday before week two. And a lot of people haven't haven't um, gotten into week one yet. So I'm getting a little worried that we're um, you guys are gonna get behind. So please remember that this is a regular course. It has a lot of content. Week one material, there's less than every other week, just because I slow it down a little bit to get you started. But um, there's a lot of content. It, we have, um, what, five hours of class a week if it was live. And then you still have to do all these activities and all. So there's a lot to do. Um, try not to wait until the last minute to do everything, because it, it won't, first of all, if you have problems, it can be very frustrating. And also if, um, if you're trying to remember it, it, it won't stick if you're trying to rush it all in there. So anyway, get to work. Um, but we're on week two. And generally what I try to do is I try to post the, the next week, the Friday before it starts. And that really gives you two weekends and a week to work on materials if you um, want to do that, if you're trying to get ahead or something like that. So I will post this lecture video right here. This week looks a lot like the other weeks. Um, there's a lecture study guide. You're going to print that out and you'll notice it's a little bit bigger than week one. And this week we're doing the chemistry of life. And this is just really basic chemistry information that you've probably gotten in a chemistry class. If you haven't had a chemistry class, it's really the chemistry you need to know to do biology. So um, it's good information um, if you're taking this course to take A&P or micro or using it as a prerequisite. It's, um, it's information that you're going to need to know for those courses. But it's also just information that we, you know, we need to know for walking around on this planet. So um, chemistry of life. So print out your lecture study guide. Uh, I made videos like I did last time. In these videos, they might look a little bit different because I used it right from the textbook. And so um, I, I go right to the textbook and you can see that I, I divided it by the different sections. So you can go to the sections that you need. Um, the lecture assignment is the McGraw-Hill thing where you've filled out your study guide and um, you've reviewed it. And now you can go to this lecture assignment and, and practice, do the questions for practice to see how well you're, you know the information. Remember also, if you're using the e-text, you can access it through this link. Um, there's a lab handout and you're going to print that out and then you're going to do lecture video. Uh, there's a couple virtual labs in there in that lab handout. So once you complete those, you'll get um, points. Remember, if you check these boxes off that they will, um, the, it's just an indicator to you that it's done. If you don't check it off, the, 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 um, the assignment stays on your calendar as not done. So it doesn't mean it's not done. It's just for your bookkeeping. I don't see if you check it off or not, but you might want to remember to check those off so they, they go away. And then the last thing you have here is a lab quiz. And so remember the lab quiz is information that comes right from the lab handout. So hopefully you're getting a little bit into the routine and um, let me know if you're having any troubles and um, I'm glad to help. Let's see, the one thing I can think of is sometimes people want to know, once I take a quiz, like when I take this lab quiz, how do I know what questions I got wrong? And I'm pretty sure all you do is you go up here to your grades and you're going to click on your, you'll click on your grades. Um, there's, where's that lab quiz? number one, I think you click on the lab quiz or you click on the grade or something and it will give you your feedback that I have. Um, for these quizzes and exams, I just put, um, you can just see the questions you got wrong and the correct answers. And I do that just so people aren't copying all my materials and um, handing them off to other students and all that. So, um, but this will just show you your wrong answers. If you can't get to it there, you don't see your answers, let me know. But remember also, if you want to see the grades to your, what's the graded things for lab quizzes or exams, um, the, you can't see those grades until a minute after they're due. So if they're due 11.59 p.m. on Sunday, you can't see the actual grade until 12.01, it's actually two minutes, 12.01, um, a.m. on Monday, okay, because again, I don't want people seeing the answers before the due dates. So that's what I have, and um, 
let me know how things are going. You guys take care. Thank you for everybody that um, has contacted me and talked to me. And um, the people that had a heart are having the technology problem. There's eight of you in this class. Um, you know who you are. Uh, I will let you know when that gets resolved. So anyway, take care. Bye-bye.